Hi, and welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're gonna talk about drilling intersections. Uh, and what I mean here is when you look at a simple plate like this, this is just a single sample. Here you can see I've drilled the big holes here first. Now I'm gonna reposition the part and I'm gonna drill these cross holes. And you know, this condition happens all over the place, especially in the tool and die industries where you have to drill drillings through drillings and you have problems when the drilling uh, starts to break through an existing drill. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm gonna start by just doing a quick repositioning. I'm gonna save the same document, just for fun. Pop this over here. Position that just on that plane, flip it over. And this one against that axis. And this one here, we'll go to this axis just for fun offset it off to the side just so they're not on top of each other. Oops. That's okay. Six. Set that back to zero. All right. So, let's take a look. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill these holes here. Remember, these are already drilled. So I'm gonna select this bottom most diameter, right click, and I'm gonna go to drill. And here I'll choose gun drill. All right. Now, I already have a tool, a gun drill preloaded, so that's perfect. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set our feeds and speeds. Maybe I'm gonna run this at, I don't know, 2,500, 20 inches a minute with center. Next, I'm gonna go into my toolpath settings, go to drilling intersections, activate it, okay? And hit refresh. And what you're gonna see is the software found each of the cross holes. And now what you can do is you can set what you want to happen. So for example, at this first intersection, 16th of an inch before the tool touches, I want to slow my feed rate down to 20% of the program. Once we break through, and maybe here you want to delay as well, just for fun. Maybe once we break through that first intersection, I want to speed up my feed rate to 150%, 150% of the feed. Okay. Now, when we get to the bottom of this cross hole, again, I want to slow down 20%. And then once I'm 16th of an inch past or whatever depth you want past, I want to go back to my machine. Feed. Okay. And we're going to do that for all of these holes. Check. If I go and simulate this, position this, and zoom up here, and you can watch we're in rapid right now. So right now we're at 20 inches a minute, and I'm gonna pause it when it changes. Here you can see I'm now at four inches a minute as I'm breaking through the hole. I'm up to 30 inches a minute now that I've broken through so that I can feed faster. Now I'm back to four inches a minute, now I'm back to 20, and it's gonna repeat this process through every single hole that it intersects with, okay? And the only reason it's doing it is because these holes were drilled first. So it's important for this process to work that you follow your operation order correctly, okay? So you're going to go drill your first holes, reposition the part, or if you're on a multi-axis machine, you have to reposition, and then you move on to the next, the next, the next. So just another way to show you how top solid has your back and can help you drive your tool the way you want to drive your tool. Uh, one more point, you are in gun drilling, so if you want, you can even play with the spindle RPMs and everything. Okay, so you can play with how the, what RPM the, the tool is gonna run at when we're first engaging for, maybe for the first, let's say, 300 thousandths, right? We're going to be at the, the factor of the machining feed of 50% because we're going to be running at a, uh, pardon me, at a factor of the programmed RPM of 50%, just as we're starting. Them. Okay. You even change the cleanup time. Here. And then when you're exiting, maybe you just want to exit the material. Delay before this happens. And you want to exit just running the platform. Okay? And then if you 
generate some G code for this, just as the last step. So here is all of those changes. That's the RPM change at the end. Okay.